Hi everyone. <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel called Teresa Jackson the Cerebral Palsy Sketch Artist. I hope that you are all doing well. Let's start this video with our normal update and catch up. I have been very busy for the last two weeks working on my art project and I have been trying to find out if I could set up my own charity foundation for disabilities artists. As I would like to help new artists and disabilities artists who are nervous to come out as an artist. Also, I have been working on my care company art project we will be launching later in the year. I am thinking about setting up my own charity too. I'm meant to be starting my new art sessions for parents and children in June, but the launch may be put back due to no interest. Last week I was featured in the Consensus Care Company conference meeting that was to share my idea of my art project within the company. And today I went to our quality checkers meeting to explain the purpose of the art project that I am starting. Today we are going to talk about what my day is like and what it contains of. So, in the morning I wake up and because I have type 1 diabetes, I must have my long acting insulin which I have once a day for my blood to be stable throughout the day. Then I have a shower and get dressed. After my shower I then have my meds and breakfast. <laughs> Normally I have frankfurter, eggs, bacon and brioche if I get up late, I have cereal. Now before I eat any meal, I must check my blood and have my fast acting insulin which I have before every meal. The difference between the long-acting and fast-acting insulin is the fast-acting insulin works rapidly, and it will take effect quickly, and the long-acting insulin will work slowly throughout the day until the next day. Please note if you are confused about the long-acting and fast-acting insulin don't worry as I am planning to do a video on education on diabetes. After I had my morning routine I then check if I have any appointments for that day and I then check my emails. If I have any email that I have to respond to I take my time and write an email back, or if I must do something regarding my art project that I am starting within my care company where I live, I will prioritize the day to that work. This could include things like making posters or videos, attending meetings online or in person. If I don't have work to do, I normally research how to start my own charity or foundation for my own charity for disabilities artists. Now I am still researching how to get it started which is very difficult as I can't find a place to start. Or I research for new ideas for artists that I can try out. This leads us up to my lunch time so I will choose what I would like to eat for lunch. This is normally would be lunchables, chips and chocolate. Before I eat, I must check my blood and have my insulin and my afternoon meds. I do like to watch my program while I eat my lunch. After my lunch I then do some art if I don't have anything to do. I will do my artwork and watch my TV program until dinner. Unless if my boyfriend is around, I would spend time with him. At dinner time I check my blood again and have my insulin for the last time of the day then I will have my dinner and watch EastEnders if it is on that day and relax before I get ready for bed. Then at 9 o'clock I have my evening shower and have my meds and then go to bed. This may change if I am going on a day trip or going to see family. As I normally get my clothes, bag and food ready the day before. This is because I must pack my lunch before I go out as I must watch what I eat as I am diabetic. That's all we have time for today. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Join me next time as I talk about diabetes. Please like,
comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you all soon.